Well, because I think my view is, unless uh, my Conservative colleagues are persuaded that the Conservative Prime Minister, which I hope will be me, has busted a gut and done everything humanly possible to get a deal, and that isn't credible by the 31st of October, there won't be a majority in Parliament to let us leave without a deal, and I think Parliament will stop us doing so, however committed that the Prime Minister is. It's demonstrated it's done that before. I think there'll be a decent majority, about 40 or 50, the Speaker would have in his back pocket, and I think he's demonstrated he'll... he'll um, flex the rules to be able to do that. So it's just so, not a credible promise. So how long would you be prepared to delay Brexit? Well, I've been very clear. It's not about kicking the can down the road. It's a short, focused extension, either to get a deal through Parliament or to agree uh, the steps that we're going to do with the so European Union. So how long well, is a short, my, focused my extension? My end to that is that we're not going to the country again until we've delivered Brexit. There are a set of elections next year, so there is a window of opportunity between October the 31st and the start of that campaign next year, that is the period when so you've March. got to get out. March, we, we, we're not going to the country again. I don't think we can say to Conservative voters, we haven't delivered our promise again, and then expect any other result than the appalling kicking we got at, at the European elections uh, last month. When